Hey guys, we are back here with another video today and today we are finally gonna be upgrading our Ultron to T14. He will be my second one into that tier. And again, I've been kind of focusing uh, in the war store specifically, I've been focusing on buying those orbs, those ribosomes, those conductors, and basically just focusing on getting my tech gear and my mutant gear uh, because I wanna get my first five characters in the global sorted out here before uh, Dark Dimension 3 is out. Uh, they said that's gonna be briefly on the horizon here, guys. So that's why I'm basically focusing on those first five characters. So that way we can at least get started and then we can always start building up the resources for the other characters afterwards. But yes, that's enough me chatting around here. Uh, let's upgrade this guy and see what the stats do uh, once we bring him up to T13, T14. So let's just hit equip here and we are gonna just upgrade him and see how this looks. So let's see here, we got, um, let's see here. His, so his health actually jumps up quite a bit. Uh, basically uh, 16,000 it looks like there. Uh, damage will go up to 13, which is amazing. Uh, again, these stats are really, really nice because of the fact that uh, he is already a beast on his own right. He's dominating all the other game modes. I mean, even with Black Bolt entering, I mean, he can one-shot Ultron if he can. Uh, obviously he can't revive, but I mean, uh, other than that, uh, a lot of people don't even have Black Bolt unlocked yet. So, I mean, other than that, he is pretty much uh, dominates every other game mode in the game. So, again, that's a really nice uh, stat increase. Uh, he'll definitely solidify his role in my arena team for sure. But, yeah, no, he is my second one to go. So, yeah, uh, that's uh, two down, uh, three to go for global. And uh, I'll just briefly show you guys my little progress map here. So with Dark Dimension 3 uh, is on the horizon, I uh, just want to reiterate again, if you guys haven't already checked out my other videos uh, talking about preparing for Dark Dimension 3, um, there has been some changes obviously since that video. But again, I just want to reiterate um, in that sense that you want to make sure you minimize the uh, number of character traits that you're going into that game mode with. So I mean, again, if you want to maximize your resource efficiency, um, ideally you want to go in with you know five uh, characters uh, that are specifically, um, you know, geared towards each of those um, nodes. So there's tw there's 16 nodes in total, and again, each character has different specific traits. But to minimize the amount of resources you need, you're going to need 15 characters in total. And obviously, the best use of your resources is making sure there's three of each trait. So again, three bio, three global, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, just to maximize your efficiency. So if we look at the map here. I mean, uh, my current progress map, you'll see that I have some essentials and recommended ones and then potentials, which were kind of like maybes, uh, and they're kind of up in the air. But again, uh, just looking at global here, uh, we've got Phoenix, we've got Ultron. They've pretty much, uh, they're T14 now, so that's two down. And again, that's one tech, one mutant. So again, that fills up those niches again, like I said, when we're trying to aim for three of each specific trait. But now um, Cyclops has entered into the ring and now he is definitely on my radar as, as a potential one and even recommended because of the fact that he's low cost. Uh, he's also, um, you know, he's also uh, synergized as well with uh, the X-Men team. So obviously Phoenix is in there, um, not to mention you've got Colossus in there as well. So basically if we're counting Cyclops and Colossus in there, that would pretty much eat up my three mutants. And uh, even if you look at the Cosmic and the City characters, there isn't really much uh, good characters that you can basically invest in that are mutants. So that's kind of the way to go for that one. So I've got pretty much my three mutants there from Global. Uh, and then Potentials, I mean, initially I was thinking, hey, I could probably, uh, I could probably throw Wolverine in there as well if I have enough materials, just because he's also very cheap and uh, he pairs well with Cyclops and Phoenix as well. Um, other one is uh, we've got uh, an essential one as well is uh, Minerva. You got to have her for cosmic. Uh, it, you know, it's pretty much, you know, like Dark Dimension 2. You're going to need to just have her in there. Keep her alive. Crappy thing is, is you can't really farm her outside of the premium orbs. That's the only drawback. And then recommended ones um, for sure. I've got Invisible Woman pegged for sure. And then I'm kind of just bouncing around, you know, should I throw in more Fantastic Four in there or should I go the other route and go Asgardians? And now I'm kind of leaning towards Asgardians, um, Loki specifically because of his special and his alt. I mean, his special pretty much hides everybody and, or sorry, 
excuse me, um, his uh, his special basically causes uh, you know enemies to attack each other with defense down, which is massive amounts of damage, especially because with Dark Dimension two and three, uh, you're dealing with some very very big hitters and uh, just making them hit each other. Um, that's a no-brainer. That's gonna do significant amounts of damage. And if you've got Loki in that mix, he's an Asgardian. You gotta have Thor in there as well, uh, just because they pair well together. Um, Loki also summons minions, so that's gonna be really really nice because uh, when he does bring out his minions with his uh, with his special, um, that also hides people. So it stealths other characters, and essentially you want to protect Minerva, right? So that's kind of the drill I'm going with right now. So definitely for sure, Invisible Woman because she also hides. Uh, Loki, because he also hides. And then um, Hela. Hela, I mean, she is definitely a potential one for me as well because of the fact that uh, she is, uh, you know, she has minions. And like I said, uh, all these minions that we're talking about with Loki's minions, Hela's minions, um, every time they die, they're basically feeding the Minerva train. So, I mean, they're filling her bar and she's giving more turn meter. And basically, she can basically, the faster she goes, the more she can ult, the more she can revive. Uh, you guys get the drill. Um, so again, um, only problem is is with Thor, with Loki, and with Hela in that mix. That's pretty much my three mystics uh, on Cosmic. So again, that's going to have to be something I consider. Um, I did check the global and the city, and there isn't too much mystics. I mean, global, there you know the mystics just aren't really compatible with the characters that I already have set in place, which is Phoenix, Ultron, Colossus. Um, you get the drill. Um, but City, I mean, the only one we would have to think about for sure is uh, Iron Fist. He's a mystic. But with the introduction of the symbiotes, um, we will see how that works out. Because now with symbiote Spidey in the mix, um, they're much quicker. The defender is just too damn slow. And personally, for me, I was not a fan of thinking about getting them up to T14. I mean, definitely, obviously, it was the only viable team. I mean, it was either defenders or the hand team but again i'm still a little bit undecided but for sure i'm leaning more towards spider verse which is why they're kind of in the front and ahead of the defenders in that little chart there but yeah that's kind of what i'm going for right now um other potentials i guess what i should have talked about in cosmic is i was thinking about also uh, groot uh as a final character just to kind of help bring everybody together because he's got defense up he's got the death proof or if we're lacking the damage because um, the Asgardians, I mean, they are good with synergies and everything. But again, Hela, you can't really farm her outside of the premium orbs. So again, that's going to obviously dictate quite a bit of her level as well because of the fact that she can't be farmed. And if you're not like the people that had blitzed and got her up to three or four stars and you have her at two stars, well, eesh, that's not exactly a, that's not exactly a favorable situation. So again, uh, my Captain Marvel, she's at... Four red stars, six yellow. So again, she does a decent amount of damage. My Star Lord's also up there because he's seven yellow stars, five red. So again, massive damage. Uh, blinds. Only problem with him is he's got the tech gear as well. So just something for me to consider. Um, and he would technically be my third tech once I slot him in there. And nice thing about the city ones as well is we don't really need tech in there, so that's fine. Um, I mean, Sinister Six is another route as well for City, uh, if you're going that route. But again, ah, he, he, it's like I said, it's that's why I'm so undecided right now for the City crew. Uh, the saving grace is, is that City is only for the last four nodes, so from nodes 12 to 16. So, or excuse me, from uh, nodes 13 to 16. Uh, so again, we do have some time to figure that out before we can start investing in those. So definitely for sure, I mean, work on the ones you can. Get your Ultron, get your Phoenix, get your Minerva in there. But I would not touch City or Spider-Verse or any of that stuff just until everything's kind of, you know, sorted out and maybe they've redone some retweaks or whatever. I have no idea what they're what's going on right now. Um, I think they're probably going to tweak that as the mode gets launched. But yeah, hopefully you guys found this useful. Um, yeah, second uh, tier 14 Ultron. Uh, super happy about that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to work on my next one here. I th I'm thinking it's most likely I'm still going to continue my standard progress, which is collecting my mutant materials. Uh, I still need them for Colossus and uh, Cyclops. And then I'm going to keep uh, getting my tech ones as well in the war store. So I've just been kind of focusing on that. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'll just briefly show you guys here in two seconds. So every day your war store updates 
and uh, it's guaranteed at least one of those uh, T13 to T14 materials. And actually today we've got a perfect situation here. Uh, we've got the ribosomes and yeah, we're just gonna buy that up. So this always comes up. And uh, lately what I've been doing is I've been saving all my war credits so that if it's a mutant or if it's a tech, uh, material then I always buy it if it's mystic if it's like uh, you know if it's a city material ah, I just I just don't bother with it um, there's just no point because I'm trying to make sure I have the five global characters ready to go so that way we can at least get the mode uh, unlocked so we can start doing it when it gets launched but that's my approach guys uh, like I said uh, hopefully that you guys have found this useful thank you for watching and uh, happy gaming